Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red, episode 47. This is going to be it. Sort of. This is the last episode as we proceed into Cerulean Cave. Everything from this point forward is going to be the Elite Four. Now there's actually only one new Pokemon that you can find here, uh, even though we could have found pre-evolutions earlier. So let's go ahead and take a look at that Pokemon now. The only new Pokemon that you can find here in Cerulean Cave is Kadabra. This is the first time that you can catch Kadabra in the wild, so that's important to note. You could have had an Abra as early as Cerulean City though, so if you did want this Pokemon Pokemon, odds are, odds are you already have it. Now it is worth mentioning that Cerulean Cave is full of high level, very good Pokemon. Uh, but we're going to specifically look at Kadabra here. Now if we look at its final evolution, Alakazam, which is only available by trading, so therefore we can't actually receive it in this game, you will see that its stats are amazing. That special attack of 135 is huge, that speed of 120 to help it out is even better. Uh, however, like I've said in previous things, that 45 physical defense means that any physical hit is pretty much going to destroy this Pokemon. Now, it does come with two different abilities, uh, either Inner Focus or Synchronize. I think Synchronize is better, uh, but I could see where some people would say, you know what, flinching cannot happen on this Pokemon. If this Pokemon is flinched, it will die, which is true, totally true, whereas Status Inflictions, not so much. Uh, so, th I guess it's up to you, really, on how you want to go about that. But, like I said, this is the first time you can pick up Kadabra in the wild, so like go ahead do that okay all right so uh yeah Kadabra's is not that big of a deal you could have gotten abra so early in the game that there's really no point in even really really talking about it now we're going to be using our item finder a lot although uh, in all of my testing so far i don't actually believe that there is much that we can find here now you absolutely need things with surf and rock smash to be able to get through this area so we'll go ahead and break this and right here we will find a full restore which is going to be very useful in the coming battles against the elite four uh again the next two episodes are literally just going to be the Elite Four, but this is the final dungeon in the game, meaning that the Pokemon that you will encounter here, as you will soon see, are well above even our level. Pokemon in this area are going to be around level 65, which is pretty crazy. So we actually need to get off of this to be able to grab this, which is a full restore. Uh, it's not really worth breaking any of these Rock Smash items. There's no actual items there, uh, or these Rock Smash, there's no items there for you to get. So there's no point. Uh, up here, there is an item, which we can grab right here. And then if I'm not entirely mistaken, a nugget is always useful. There should actually be another one right here. Um, maybe I'm wrong. It's actually above it, which makes sense. Right there, or next to us, is an Ultra Ball. Alright, so we are also going to next use this ladder. Um, again, this is the floor that's kind of like a labyrinth, uh, if you will. Although, it's not, because it all kind of leads the same way. I do apologize, I don't want my keyboard to be clicky. So this is a dead end, so you, this ladder is pretty much useless, so you can just cut that out. You don't need it. Cut! Cut that out! And, uh, and then we can go up one more, and this will lead us to a little bit uh, more of an area where we can at least get an item. So we'll go ahead and use Bruce to Rock Smash, and right here we will be able to pick up a PP up. Uh, it is worth mentioning that you want to make sure that you have as much Max Repels and Ultra Balls as you're going to need. Um, Ultra Balls especially. Okay, so I ended up just getting rid of a Pearl. Uh, wait, we desperately need Max Repel. Continue on. I want to make sure that we cut as much extra stuff out of this video as possible because it's going to be a long video. Uh, which is fine by me because this is one of the coolest dungeons in the world. Now, it is worth mentioning that the Pokemon Wubbuffet that you will probably run into is pretty much a death sentence. Uh, you have to be very careful when fighting Wubbuffet. Uh, it is able to do a, a move called Destiny Bond where if you accidentally one-hit KO it in the same turn, it will take you with it. So you keep that in mind as you fight. Fight them. So right here we'll be able to use another uh, Rock Smash, I'll just go ahead and cut that animation out, and we will be able to get one more item which is another Ultra Ball. So even the game knows that hey, you're probably going to need as much of this as you can get. Uh, and then we will continue on this way, this is the way that we have to go. Lead us down here, we'll use our item finder again, there's usually not much that we can find, I believe that Ultra Ball might have actually been the only one we can find. And we can head all the way this way, and you can tell that this is just, this is just a huge labyrinth. Um, actually, what I want to do first is I want to make sure that, uh, this way is taken care of. So we'll go ahead and use Rock Smash, and, uh, there's no items or anything, so 
don't uh, don't bother with your item finder. I believe that ultra ball that we found earlier was pretty much all you could all you could find here. Am I right? Yeah, I'm right. I'm always right, guys. I'm always right. So make sure that you have that repel going. Now we also are leading with Luna. The only reason we are leading with Luna right now is because uh, she does have that. Uh, the highest level so she's level 62 which means we're going to run in just to a, a little bit less Pokemon So we'll go ahead and use this staircase, which is where we need to go or this ladder I should say which will lead us down We're getting very close to the end of this dungeon guys, and there is a Pokemon here That is just is just amazing. It's just amazing So we'll go ahead run up here You could use rock smash to uh, kind of take out some of these, but I don't really think that's necessary um and we got a max revive, so we're getting good items. Items that are going to be useful in the upcoming fights. And that's that's pretty handy. Right here we can get another Ultra Ball. Like I said, they know what you're in for. Uh, this is one of the hardest Pokemon to catch in the entire game. Not counting the Pokemon that we'll catch at the end of this episode. So, right over here. Oh, see? And that's what I mean. We'll run into a level 67 Ditto. Uh, huge. Huge level. Most of the Pokemon that you're going to be finding in here are in their 60s, so keep that in mind. Uh, we can come right around here. What is that, I wonder? <gasps> what is this? Mew! Mewtwo, number 150 in the Pokedex, the final Pokemon kind of ish. Mewtwo, the pure psychic type legendary Pokemon that has consistently stayed incredible ever since its inception. Now, when this thing first entered the game in red, uh, uh, red and blue and yellow, this thing was a monster, and it is still a monster. That special attack of 154 with a base speed of 110, and then you have an attack of 110 and a HP pool of 106, oddly enough. This thing is insane. Now, in Gen 6, it got Mega Evolutions, which means it has a base stat total of 780, which is absurd. This is a true legendary Pokemon, perhaps one of the most powerful in the entire game. All of the games. Mewtwo is a, is a monster. An absolute monster. Now, it does come with the ability pressure, which isn't that great, all things considered. Uh, but I, I still... It's Mewtwo, man. Pure Psychic type. That's right, everyone. It is Mewtwo. Level 70, Pure Psychic type Pokemon. My god. Is this thing a tank and a half? So what I'm going to be doing right off the bat is I'm going to try using Psychic on it to see if we can get it to lower its special defense. That's the big thing here. Uh, no matter what, Clefable's probably going to go down. So unfortunately, we did lose that. We're going to go ahead and hit it with Strength. He's going to be using Recover all the time. I say he even though uh, it's genderless. All right. So we got it down, and now what I really want to do is I want to switch to our uh, Bruce. The reason I want to switch to Bruce is because I think Bruce is going to get killed, um, which will allow us to switch to Chew pretty freely. Now, unfortunately, he's going to use uh, that. We're going to use Focus Punch because I'm hoping he's going to use Safeguard or Recover here. Uh, and nope, he's going to use Swift, so not a big deal. Uh, we'll go ahead and use Brick Break just to kind of wear him down. That's what needs to happen here is you need to wear this Pokemon down. Fortunately, it killed us because it is freaking Mewtwo, man. It's freaking Mewtwo. Uh, yeah, we're going to switch to Chew. This way, Chew will hopefully be able to outspeed it, although I doubt that's going to happen. And we'll be able to get a Thunder Wave off. Oh, Chew was able to outspeed it. Uh, unfortunately, I forgot that Safeguard is still in effect, which makes uh, Chew pretty useless. Uh, you know, oh, perfect. I was gonna say, it's actually probably worth it to have, uh, start off with somebody that can do a status infliction before Mewtwo can even use that safeguard ability. It's going to hit us with a Psychic. No matter what Pokemon you have out, that's going to kill you. A Stab Psychic from somebody like Mewtwo, honestly, it's going to destroy you unless you're a, uh, a very powerful very powerful physical tank. So we are going to switch to Topher here. I'm actually very curious with that 10 level deficit, if Shadow Ball will be able to bring it down into red. I'm hoping that it's not going to kill it because that would be just, just the worst. Uh, and a Psychic obviously from a Mewtwo will just annihilate, absolutely annihilate a Nidoking King uh, because of that poison typing, that poison subtyping. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use Rock Slide here. I don't think Rock Slide's going to kill it. I think it will bring it down into the red. Uh, perfect. And it will flinch, which is great. So he is now at the easiest to capture that he will be for us, which is to have that little health 
and be paralyzed. So we're going to go ahead and use an Ultra Ball. Thank God we have so many of them. Uh, and I'm hoping that maybe we can just get lucky in this first throw. Oh, nope. Okay, well... Well, there's that for you. He's going to use Safeguard, which is perfect. I am worried about him using Recover. Uh, if he uses Recover, we're going to be running into a bit of a problem. Uh, so I'm going to be making sure that we have that. Uh, I'm going to be using a Netball, just because I can. Because I can. It's not going to capture him. That would be ridiculous. Uh, but it's worth it's worth trying. Uh, he tried using Safeguard again, which, is, again, is really good for us. I'm going to try to go as fast as we can through those animations. Do not, whatever you do, friendos, do not use your Master Ball on this fight. You don't want to do that. Don't. Uh, I was trying to see if we could get... Okay, so that Recover is going to come out. I'm going to see if we can hit it again with a Shadow Ball and uh, hope that that doesn't kill it. Okay, great. And a Recover again. We'll go ahead and hit him with another Shadow Ball. Uh, and his, and his special defense went down there. So, I'm gonna just start tossing Ultra Balls at him, and hope that we can get somewhere here with this. Uh, alright, let's see what we can do. Alright, we brought him back to the lowest we can. We've only used about four or five balls so far. Uh, Ultra Balls. So, we still have plenty, plenty of time. Okay, don't freak out. Don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Ultra Ball, 60 left. I think we got this. This is the one. I feel it in my bones. And one, two, three... No, oh, I felt it. I felt it. All right, that's okay. So we are going to lose Topher, unfortunately. I felt that. Guys, I... I thought we had it there. I thought we had it. Damn. Damn. All right, we're going to switch to Luna again. Uh, because at least Luna has access to soft boils. You know what I mean? At least Luna can use that. L uh, Luna. I, did I say Yuna or Luna? Somebody wants to play Final Fantasy X, let me tell you. Alright, oh, don't fight it. Alright, let's go ahead, Ultra Ball this up. This is it, this is the one. This isn't the one. I don't feel it. I don't feel it in my bones. Oh, wasn't the one. Here it is. Is this the one? Is this it? Nope, nope, not at all. One, two, uh, uh, nope. Is this it? Is this it? Nope. Alright, we are, we are running low. We are, we are not doing well. Here goes, mess, mess, Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball, what? Oh. One, two, three. Oh. I, I took off my headphones because, because I was like, oh, I'm gonna, oh, 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 this is exciting. Guys, <laughs> it took so long. It took so long. A Pokemon whose genetic code was repeatedly recombined for research, it turned vicious as a result. Give a nickname to the captured Mewtwo. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be Rhino, named after Miss Anun, uh, who is one of our very newest uh, patrons over on Patreon. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. You now have a Mewtwo named after you, so thank you. Thank you very much. That's amazing. I don't think, I don't think so. Okay, and that is it. We have gotten everything that we can get out of Cerulean Cave. So just use, use a little, just use a little, a little escape rope. Look at how many, look, we have nine Ultra Balls left, guys. Nine Ultra Balls. I've had to reset twice. We, that, because we went through all of our Ultra Balls. Can you believe that? It's insane. It's insane. Oh, I was like, do I not have any escape ropes? My god. Alright, and so from here, the next place that we want to go, because we're not quite done yet on our on our legendary journey, is we want to head to Viridian City. Not because we're going to the Pokemon League, because we just fly there, but for a completely different reason. Now, don't worry about having a lot of balls for this. We're actually going to be looking for a legendary Pokemon. So what you definitely need, no matter what, is a bunch of repels. That is numero uno. That is what you need, is repels. And then, we are going to search right here for a certain Pokemon. All we're going to do, and this is what I suggest you doing, you do, is you spray a mass effect, uh, mass effect. You spray a max repel with your highest level Pokemon, or not your highest level Pokemon, you actually need a Pokemon that's below level 50. So anything, anything really above level 20 will be fine in this particular thing. So that's what we're gonna do, is go put one of those Pokemon in our team, and then you're just gonna go into that grass just a little bit. Once you have a Pokemon, in our case, we're going to use Dragonair. So we still have that Max Repel. Okay, good, it wore off. So we'll go up here, 
And this is super important. We are looking for a Roman, roaming legendary Pokemon that appears once you complete everything at Sevi Islands. So what we're going to do is use a Max Repel. And then you're going to try to get into a battle here. Just, just try. If you don't get into a battle, which we didn't yet, just go on up, go back in here, and then come back out. And just keep doing this over and over and over until you get a battle. No more than 10 to 15 seconds searching. If you don't find anything, go back inside and just keep doing this over and over until you get a battle. Here we go! We got it! Oh, that, that was actually really quick. I only had to use two repels for that. So, Wild Soikun appeared. Let's take a look at the legendary beasts that are now roaming Kanto. So, let's look at the first of the three legendary roaming beasts. The legendary beasts as they are called. Now, their stat totals are about 580, which actually means that they're more mythical, uh, supposedly. That's what the community says. Than legendary, although they are, by lore-wise, they are legendary Pokemon. That's what they've been considered in the past, and that's what I'm going to refer to them as, Damn it! So, if you chose Venusaur, or Bulbasaur, as your starter, you will get Entei roaming around. This is a pure fire type volcano Pokemon. It is amazing. Now, it does share the volcano Pokemon with the uh, Generation 2 starter, uh, which is worth mentioning. Now, its stats are very strange. It has a very high HP, a very high attack, which it can't really capitalize on this game, and then a speed of 100. Now, in future generations, when this thing gets the access to the move Sacred Fire, it's going to become very good. Right now, though, it's actually considered the weakest out of the three dogs, even though it is my personal favorite. Uh, interestingly enough, I love Entei. I like his design a lot. I like that he's the volcano Pokemon. I really dig him. Now, if you chose Squirtle, you will get Raikou. Raikou is very, very good. Perhaps one of the best special attackers in the entire game. Special sweepers, even. A pure electric type Pokemon, it is the Thunder Pokemon. It races the land while barking a cry that sounds like crashing thunder. It again also has the pressure ability, not a big deal. Uh, it's base stats, 115 special attack, 100 defense, 90 base HP, so it's going to be able to take a hit. And a speed of 115, it's very good. Very good. Now, for the Pokemon that we can get, if you chose Charmander, Soikun! Soikun, perhaps one of the best tanks in the entire game. This thing gets access to Calm Mind and with the ability Pressure as well. You're actually going to be able to tank a lot. Pure water type Pokemon, it actually beats Vaporeon, believe it or not. I know, I know, break my own heart, but it is amazing. It is uh, the HP of 100, defense of 115, and a special defense of 115, with also a special attack of 90 and a speed of 85. This thing's going to be able to weather hits as if they're nothing, and then it's going to be able to hit with us with a surf or even a stab, or not a stab ice beam, but an ice beam. That's going to hurt real hard, real hard. The legendary beasts are a very welcome addition to Leaf Green and Fire Red. All right, Wild Soikun, let's do this. This is going to be a really tough battle. It is level 50. We are only level 44. Uh, I don't even know how I'm going to do this, guys. This is going to be really hard. Uh, I'm thinking I'm thinking maybe we'll like paralyze it or we'll just use a Master Ball and call it a day. This is exactly what you want to do. You want to use a Master Ball for the legendary beasts that are roaming Kanto. You absolutely want to do it because this Pokemon in its first round, first time turn, whatever, it will run away from you. Now, if you are playing a game where Entei or Raikou are your legendary beasts that are roaming the world, well, guess what? You definitely want to use a Master Ball, because if they roar at all, if they roar you during the battle, they are gone. You cannot get them again unless you reload a save. If you defeat these legendary beasts, that's it, they are gone. So you want to make sure that this is what you saved your Master Ball for. Trust me, it is the best use of your Master Ball. At least, uh, many people would agree with me, actually. It's your best use. Alright, let's continue on. Soikun's data was added to the Pokedex. We already saw this. This Pokemon races across the land. It is said that north winds will somehow blow whenever it appears. A wonderful, wonderful Pokemon. We aren't going to give a nickname to it, uh, just because all of the all of the names um, of patrons are already used. So I don't want to do that again. Uh, and and now, and now we only have one more thing to do. We have 
Mewtwo. We have the legend, one of the legendary beasts that are roaming Kanto. Now, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get all three, uh, but you know, it depends on your starter. So we are going to arrive here in Indigo Plateau, and in the next episode, we are going to tackle at least the first couple members of the Elite Four. Thank you all very much for watching. Please let me know in the comments below who your favorite legendary roaming beast is. And remember, never give up, never surrender.